this is Jessica DeMassa, and I am here at the Bayer G4A Accelerator launch in New York City, and I have a startup that has stopped by to talk to me. This is Raj Bakta. He is from Thermaware, and I guess what he has is what he explained to me as an Apple Watch having a baby with a heating pad. So tell me what exactly that means. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, your grandma probably gave you a heating pad, you know, when you had back pain, right? Yeah. So we made something that's like the smartest heating pad on the market right now. It's super thin, as you can see. Like, you see this? Super thin, flexible. Uh, it's machine washable too, so you oh, can wash it. <laughs> yeah, it's already warm, um, as you can feel. Yep. Um, it's super comfort. So we engineered it. We're engineers and scientists okay. um, uh, at NC State University. So this is what our expertise is in. Um, so we know how to make wearables. All right, so why do I need a better heating pad? Yeah. So <laughs> the, pr the problem is user experience, right? If you look at the trends in technology, the Apple Watch, the iPhone, why are they so popular? It's because they're easy to use. It's intuitive to use it, right? You don't have to get educated. Same thing, that's what our product is. You put it on, you get your app out on your phone, okay. and you set the time temperature you want, schedule a pain relief session if you want for your morning or afternoon commute. Okay. Um, track your pain levels, just like a Fitbit tracks your steps and heart rate. And then you can get physical therapy recommendations within the app. It pulls up YouTube videos that lead you through physical therapy anywhere, anytime. Okay. So that's the value of our user experience. We think of it as a design problem. You know? All right. And what, like, okay. So tell me a little bit more, I guess, about the design problem. So, yeah. like, why is pain management such a big issue yeah. right now in healthcare? Yeah, I think the biggest issue in terms of the trends is like compliancy, mm -hmm. and that stems from the lack of user experience. Most of these products aren't designed to be sexy or used really easily, right? Yeah. The reason the iPhone is so easy to use and is popular because it looks great. It's a fashionable, a luxury item, and it's easy to use, and it has that. In, you know, incredible amount of functionality. That's the same philosophy we take when we're designing this because most people want to have an easygoing experience, especially with today. You, we, we have Amazon. Yeah. We get everything in an, an hour if, if, if at most um, or two days, right? So the same philosophy we had to apply to the wear, things we wear. So we're pretty much uh, experts in smart fabrics. We've been studying this for the past like 10 years. All right, talk to me a little bit about that because yeah. I'm really fascinated. I was just going to ask you, like, so what of this, like, are you manufacturing this fabric? Like, tell me what exactly you guys have. Like, yeah. what is your IP? Yeah, yeah. yeah, so our IP is in the nanotechnology that's used to apply conductive and dielectric material. Essentially what that means is like a fancy word, it's fancy words <laughs> for like something that can be electronic. Okay. But we can make it flexible, breathable, washable on fabrics. So I'm doing a PhD in applied material science mm -hmm. for smart fabrics. My CTO already graduated with his PhD in applied material science for okay. fabrics. And he has around like six, seven years of actual work experience sure. in, t in Bangladesh, which is one of the biggest exporters of fast fashion and textiles in general. Fantastic. Yeah. So, so, I mean, talk to me a little bit about that. I'm really curious, like, because mm -hmm. that's the thing. It's like we've got these big companies like yeah. Under Armour. Other right. companies are trying to get into this space. Yeah, yeah. So how do you guys think you're going to break in and, yeah, and make yeah. a difference here? That's what we're here. Bayer's a great partner, right? Mm -hmm. They have the entire value chain. Um, they have a Leaf brand, which is everybody recognizes. I grew up with it. Um, if we can integrate our product, that's the ideal solution. This is our first company. We actually have another company in stealth mode, which we're going after. <laughs> yeah, so that company, we want to th do things like passive heating and cooling. What are the clothes you're wearing today? At the same cost, you go outside in the New York weather in the summer, and it starts cooling you. But then in the New York winter, it starts heating you. That's possible. We're using nanotech to do that. And what if you never had to wash your clothing? Or you just wash it less with five minutes, right? Never had to buy detergent. That's something we're working on. What if your clothing could get your vital signs, do what your Apple Watch or Fitbit does, but in a way accurate manner? And what if you can sell your you know, data to whoever you want and you can own it? And what if, you know, color changing clothing, right? What if, you, what if your dress could change from black to red or whatever you want with just an app? So that's all the stuff we're working on. And the biggest problem is the cost and manufacturing. So that's where we're at the intersection of that. And we believe we have a huge competitive edge over a lot of the companies out there because we look at it from the science, like atoms to apparel, that's what we look at. We go from the science all the way to the product design by working with interdisciplinary teams of like fashion designers, industrial designers, um, scientists, and on, you know, business sales. So, so I was going to ask you, so talk to me a little bit more about the cost curve on this because yeah. I, what I'm curious about is like how far away are we from uh, the point of it being affordable? So I mean yeah. in genomics, right? So everybody exactly. had talked about the thousand exactly. dollar genome and then right. it's like, oh wow, we're kind of there. Yeah. So yeah. like what about this? Is there like a magic number where mm -hmm. this becomes affordable and how far yeah. away are we from achieving that? Yeah, so I'd say five years. Five years. That's where our company's shooting years. for. We're looking at a step change. So if you look at the cost curve for uh, electronics, it mm -hmm. follows Moore's law. So we're trying to apply Moore's law 
with our fa smart fabric space. The textile industry is, hasn't innovated as much, and it's, you know, it's kind of arguable, but if you look at the trends, our clothes really haven't gotten that smarter compared to our phones, right, and everything else around us. So that's our philosophy. Our ambition is to become the Tesla of smart fabrics right. one day. Raj, last question for you. Yeah. So, okay, that said, the Tesla of smart fabrics, which is a bold statement, yes. and I love that. Yeah. So what are you, I guess, you personally, and like mm -hmm. everything that you know about this evolving space, yeah. what are you most excited about yeah. in terms of like applying this tech in the sure. future? I think what we want to create is the passive user experience. So you, you have one set of clothing that can do all these things. Yeah. Take data for your vital signs, give it to your doctor, yeah. you know, color change with an app, self-clean so you never have to wash it or wash it less, passively heat and cool you depending on the environment you're in. All these functionalities right now in the market are fragmented in pieces. We want to have it all in your one solution, just like the Tesla has connectivity. So you can literally open it up your trunk with an app, right? You can charge it when you go home with your solar panels. Integrated solution. It's like a lifestyle, right? You want to like never even think about the fact that you're wearing Exactly, yeah. exactly. It's going to have the form and function of the same brands you, you know, like, like Chanel, Gucci, like that luxury brands, like those, they use high quality fabrics. We want to retain that same quality and look and feel of fashion, but with all this function in the back end, which nobody knows or should think about, you know? That's awesome. I cannot wait for my, uh, yeah, <laughs> for some sort of Gucci jacket that yeah. also tells me my heart rate. Exactly. <laughs> just in case you need it, right? Yeah, no. yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much for yeah, joining us. This is so it. fascinating. Yeah. I'm Jessica DeMassa with WTF Health. Thanks again. Thank you, Jessica. Thanks.